Hi guys, today I'll be unboxing ATs. This is their new album, The World EP2 Outlaw. As you can see, I have all three of the photo book version. Unfortunately, I don't have the platform version because I got mine from MakeStar and they just didn't have the platform version with the MakeStar card. So yeah, that's that. But I did get cute MakeStar cards with my album. So we can go ahead and show that. I'll just turn it around so you can see the first one. I was not expecting this kind of a card. Usually uh, MakeStar don't do cards like this so I was thinking maybe is it a special card but most likely not <laughs> so yeah first one as you can see is you know and actually if you've watched my AT's unboxings I don't typically tend to pull him and he's like part of my buys line so I am very happy with this pull and it's the cute you know Polaroid style card the rest of the cards here are the stunning holographic cards so first one we got here is another you know I was so happy with this and plus he's gorgeous in this holographic card and I love his black hair so that is the you know holographic make star card and the next member I got is no shock we got Hong Jung my bestie in 80s he usually tends to show up in at least something anything he can in my 80s albums and we love it we love my Hong Jung curse <laughs> so we got Hong Jung's card very last make star card is this stunning, beautiful Yosan card. I think he looks so good here. Very, very pretty. Also, I've been pulling him a lot recently, so this is definitely on brand for me for my AT's um, unboxings. So yeah, those were my make star photo card pulls. And now let's get into the album. So the version names are, I believe it's A, Diary, and Z. As usual, I think they've done these version names for like three years now. Also, I love the purple theme of these albums. And I have to mention these albums are very fingerprint prone. <laughs> I was like, wipe my fingerprints off. <laughs> okay, let's start with the, oh, I forgot to show. I just wanna show it on the back. They can connect. It connects on the back and says ATs and very stretched out lettering. <laughs> well, the E's are super stretched out. Let's start off with this one right here. It's more of like a blue kind of a color like indigo almost. That's the back and the side. Okay, I'll just take my photo cards out. I'm hoping I got everything out. I just like every page I turned, there was like more stuff, more goodies. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's super metallic. Ooh, I did not know the cover was like this. I didn't really realize that slip cover really makes the album more interesting because without it, it's super plain. Okay. don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. Yes, I am missing a nail on my pinky. What's new? <laughs> I'm usually always missing a nail or two here and there. The pages are really thin, like a like a magazine or like a comic book. Oh, I, I see. It's like a comic book here. Ooh, that's really cool. Wow, it's just like a manga or something. Yeah, because like when 80s made their comeback, it was when I was traveling abroad, so I couldn't really fully... Oh, now we're getting in two more thicker pages. Oh, wow. So that was like a little comic book section in the beginning. That's cool. I love the lip ring. But um, yeah, so when they had their comeback, I was in the middle of traveling abroad. I think I was like in Japan when they had their comeback. So I was very, very busy. And unfortunately, I couldn't check out the comeback right away because like, you know, I was out doing things all day. And then when I got back, I was so tired. I just went to bed. So um, the first time I actually listened to their comeback was when I went to Korea, just just after Japan. I went to Japan, then Korea. And I met up with one of my friends and she was like, oh my God, have you listened to the new 80s album? And I was like, oh my God, this sounds horrible, but I haven't listened to it yet. I've just been so busy. And she really liked the comeback. And obviously it's probably been a song she's been playing a lot because it just came out it's so good so um she's like you have to listen to it right now so she like gave me one of her earbuds while we were like walking the streets of korea and we were just like listening to it and that was my first time actually listening to the song i instantly loved it i was like oh my gosh i have to watch the music video now like i just thought it sounded so good i was dying to watch the music video but also when i was in korea i was really really busy so i didn't end up watching the music video until like my last day in korea because i actually saw it on the tv <laughs> I just absolutely love it and they've been promoting it a lot it's crazy how i haven't really seen well no i have seen a lot but um i haven't really like at the time i didn't really listen to it because i've just been so busy i wasn't really on my phone scrolling on like instagram and stuff so it was easy for me to not listen to it because i was out so much which is not something i normally do too much um, but yeah their comeback is so so good but i'll have to point out my favorite tracks Oh, cool. 
wow this reminds me well obviously it looks like a manga but like pentagon did something very similar to uh one of their albums their lover take album i love it though it's such a cool concept i love that that's really cool i heard the photo cards are really really cute to this i honestly haven't seen the cards um so i'm kind of excited to see which cards i pull oh my god sam looks so good there whoa i think he looks amazing I and mean, he always looks amazing of course wow he looks really really good there but i mean of course i was going to mention like my bias it honestly changes like it's changed it's still the same from last time it's kind of like two like Young and you know are battling it out man to be my bias they're really really battling it out they both want to be my bias really badly <laughs> and i i hate double biasing because i just like to say i have one bias like I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with double biasing, but it's just so much easier to say, yeah, this member is my bias, you know? Instead of trying to explain, like, yeah, I can't decide. <laughs> Wu Young and you know, they both kill me every single comeback. AT's first debuted. I think Wu Young was like one of those members I was eyeing at first. But if you remember in the beginning, my bias was Songhua. Yeah, it's like changed so much. <laughs> he looks crazy good though. I really like the blue contacts. San was wearing them too. Love it. Jung Woo. He is honestly just the most talented vocalist. Like one of the most talented vocalists out there. Honestly, he's amazing. And also, ATs is a group I would absolutely die to see live. Anytime someone asks me, like a group you want to see live, I always think of ATs because I've heard so many good things about their uh, concerts. Okay, here's the B sides. I can't remember at the top of my head which B side was my favorite. Okay, so this was like the first track. I really liked this one. So maybe like this was my favorite. I do remember really liking this one. So that one might be my favorite. I can't remember off the top of my head right now because I've been listening to Shiny's album like crazy. <laughs> so that album kind of like took over my life currently. But I think I'd say the first track is probably my favorite. Oh, I like this one too. This one too. I'd say that's also one of my favorite B-sides. ATs, I always look forward to their to their albums because like i was so so impressed with their with their first album and their second album and their third like it just kept getting better and better and i'm very very happy i i liked ATs since the beginning because they're amazing okay see like look at this you can see my fingerprints here <laughs> and it's kind of hot right now so anyways that was the first photo book i really really like this one because of the manga bits in there and the, like a uh, comic Parts. that's really cool you get stickers make it bouncy it's so cool it has such a cool beat to it it actually kind of reminds me of shiny's comeback like bouncy and hard have the same vibes for real definitely have the same vibes there's that sticker Ooh, tattoos Ooh. 18 that's what it says i was like what does that say oh it says 18 -y got it oh that's really cool i love temporary tattoos like you can have the tattoo and not make the commitment of actually getting a tattoo <laughs> okay other stuff we have the cd okay and i see we also got this little uh, superstar card just in case i play the game and i want to use the code <laughs> i'm not going to show it but we have the little superstar card and now let's go ahead and show the goodies <laughs> let's just try and bring this out here Ooh, that's cool who is that oh that's yosa <laughs> why is i see it now i see it now Ooh. See, I, these days, I'm telling you, I'm pulling Yosung a lot, but we'll see what I get in the photo cards. That's really, really cool. I get why people were saying they really liked the inclusions this era. That's super cool. Is it just photo cards? Should I just pull them out? I guess so. I'll just bring them out one by one. Okay, first card is my Yuno know Luck. Oh my god. This is the cutest card. My Yuno know, look this era is making up for last era or even the era before during Gorilla era. I pulled zero 
you know like i literally pulled every single member not joking every single member but you know it was the saddest thing ever so now he's making up for it <laughs> i love that the cards feel so nice this this time i don't know it's probably the same but i just i'm just going crazy okay next card oh wow oh wow that's really cool it's like um the shape of one of the members but not exactly too sure who this is hmm. there's no indication yeah there's no indication on who exactly this is but we got that and next photo card we got oh my gosh <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is making up for the times I never pull these two. We got Weong's card. Ooh, he's like peeking around the corner. That's cool. That's different. That's adorable. I'm really lucky. Honestly, like we got my top two right here. <laughs> the two that are battling it out to be my bias. <laughs> All right. We move on to the next one here, which I believe is the diary version. And it also looks very similar to the first one. It might be slightly different in color. But like the color is very, very, very similar. I kind of just saw a sneak peek and I'm excited. <laughs> Should I keep this on? There's really no need to take it off, actually. I feel like we can we can do this with it on. Ooh, so they continue this comic section throughout them. I love it. And it even has that like gritty comic look to it. And now we go to the regular pages. It's a really cool thing to have in the album. Oh, is it the same? This, I feel like, I feel like it's the same or very similar or I'm just losing my mind. Or it might be different. These two look so good. I love Mingy's pink hair. I've seen some video calls people do with ATs and it looks so fun. Like, ATs just have such a good relationship with their fans. And I, I really enjoy watching like people's video calls with them. They're so comfortable with the fans and you can tell the fans are really comfortable with them as well. It's really nice. Also, I have to say, their last comeback, Halazia, is one of my favorite AT songs ever. It was so, so good. I still think it's really high up there in my favorite AT songs, to be honest. Like, I find that something released by them might be hard to top that. <laughs> I word things so weird sometimes, but I'm trying to say, like, that song might be a little bit hard to top. For, just for me, personally, I just really, really liked Halazia. And it released at the very, very end of 2022. It wasn't like five days or something before the new year. It was at the very tail end of the year. So I had to try my best to squeeze that song into my uh, top 50 favorite releases of um, 2022. And I did manage to squeeze it in. I think because of me trying to squeeze that in, it bumped out another song. I'm not sure what song that was at the moment, but I really had to squish that song in because ATs, man, they are just doing it right. I don't think I've disliked a single one of their title tracks, like being for real. And it, it just makes it 10 times better that their B sides are also really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so, so happy I got into ATs. I kind of explained it earlier, but I, I'm really happy that I decided to go through with collecting them at their debut because there was a point where their albums actually went out of print. And then I was like, oh my gosh, thank God I started collecting them right at their debut. Ah yes, this is a diary version. I can tell. Yep, for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I, I mean, they did bring the albums back in print eventually. And they also made um, platform versions of all of their older albums as well. And um, I believe the cards are the same. I was talking to my friend about it um, in Korea. My Another friend I met up with. <laughs> the platform versions for ATs. They're the same cards as the regular albums. Ooh. See, this is the sneak peek I saw um, when I was taking the inclusions out. I saw the bright green. I was like, oh, okay, I like this. <laughs> but yeah, they're platform versions. Apparently, they're the same photo cards that you get in the regular albums. But the boys did the same thing. They made platform versions of all of their older albums. And the cards are actually different. So I'm like kind of tempted to buy those. But so yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if I would do it for ATs because I'm trying to save money. <laughs> but um. It would be really cool to have them. They would be more tempting if the cards were different though, for sure. Their makeup is always so good. Like, are you kidding me? 
that is like the craziest coolest makeup ever see this this bright green it caught my eye when i was taking the inclusions out that's why i got so excited to go through this one oh my gosh that looks so good i'm just so relieved that it's a long weekend right now and i have um monday also to unbox albums because i have so many more to unbox because i went to korea and i brought some back well i was going to explain another reason why i didn't get the platform version i guess i'll explain in the third version but we have reached the end here so let's close that all of this so we have another superstar card then we have more stickers are they the same they're pretty much the same just slightly different shade of blue i think and same um, tattoos. Then we have the CD. CD looks to be pretty much the same, just probably slightly different shade of blue there, or like a really deep purple. And we got the inclusions. Open in case of emergency. I didn't read that before, but <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and see whose postcard I got. We got, we got Songhua, right? very cool see i'm i'm hoping in this unboxing to pull a good variety of members or like i mean a wide variety because i don't collect 80s photo cards so i always always hope to get a wide variety of members to show multiple different members in my unboxing um so we're doing good so far <laughs> doing good in my last 80s unboxing i'm pretty sure i pulled the same two or three members over and over <laughs> i'm hoping for a more wider variety in this. Can you get this open? All right. Okay, we'll put those over here. First card. There's no way to tell in the back, right? We got, ooh, we got this Mingi. Are those little band-aids? They're not band-aids, but that's so adorable. He looks ready to fight, but it's so adorable. <laughs> Very cute. I just love his pink hair. All right, that is the adorable Mingi photo card. I say adorable and he's looking like this. <laughs> he has this expression on his face that he wants to punch me. Okay. Oh, there's also this. Also this. Oh, that's cute. Is that Jomu? <laughs> Either that or San or Songwa. I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's no way to actually tell. I'm sure there's a template out there though. Okay. Last photo card. This is going to be the non selfie one. Oh, it's a unit. Cute. San looks so good here. We got San and Yosang. I'm loving the variety. We're getting such a good variety here. This is what I asked for. <laughs> I love the unit. I wish the um, other one I pulled was a unit because, I mean, I love my Wuyang card. I'm not complaining about that, but there's something about unit cards that I find irresistible. <laughs> we have this super cute San and Yosang unit card. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So cute. And very lastly, we'll go through the Z version. And yes, I say Z because I'm Canadian. <laughs> We don't say Z, you know, that doesn't exist here. All right, let's get into it. This one is more purple, much more purple than the others. That's the back and the side. I'm just trying to figure out now where my AT's albums are going because that shelf is full. Inclusions have been taken out. We will leave this on here because again, I just find no need to take it off after doing it the first time. Ooh, so we have the comic version of this green photo shoot. I love it. Oh yeah, so I was going to explain. Um, I'm regretting not getting the platform version of this album in Korea. Because, you know, I think, okay, the album released, I'm pretty sure, when I was in Japan. And it's funny because I went to Tower Records in Japan. I was going for The Boys, um, Japanese album Delicious. Because it had literally just released, like, right when I got there. Um, but I was, like, a day or two late in actually getting the album. So, thankfully, like, no one, there was no huge lineups for that album. So, I went and I bought it. And I was actually, I at first, when I was in Tower Records, and I was in the huge one in Shibuya, right? Like, the six or seven story Tower Records in Shibuya. Um, yeah, I was in there. So, like, the K-pop section was on, like, the fifth floor, or the, the sixth floor, I'm pretty sure. And so, I was up there. And you're supposed to like go just go to the counter and tell them the album you want and they pull it out behind them and give it to you. And so I went there and I actually originally thought because the lineup 
you just saw this really big line right and i was like oh my god that's the lineup for the checkout holy moly so i was standing in the line right <laughs> and i look around me and everyone had a bag like a tower records bag that you purchased something right and i was looking around i'm like hmm why does literally every single person in this line have a bag like they already purchased something and i was like kind of standing in the line wondering that and then so i stood in the line a little bit longer and then um i started seeing people around me taking out the albums and literally every single person around me was holding this 80s album and i was like why does literally everyone in this line have the 80s album like every single person and they started opening it and looking at their photo cards and i was like okay so it looks like they all purchased this 80s album but like every single person <laughs> and i was like what line am i in right now and so then well, actually, I was with my mom, so I said to my mom, I was like, can you, like, ask the staff, like, what this line is? And so she goes, and she asks him, and she comes back, and she's like, yeah, they're in line to get some kind of special card that comes with this 80s album. The checkout's over there, and then I look over, and there's, like, two people in the line <laughs> for the checkout, and I was like, oh my gosh. I was standing in this line thinking it's the checkout line to buy these The Boys albums when I'm actually in the line to get a special photo card for this 80s album that you would have already had to purchase first and I was like that's why everyone already had the album that they were opening up in the stores looking at the photo cards and so I was like it makes sense <laughs> so um anyways I, I walked over to the counter and I, I bought my The Boys albums that I was thinking I looked over at the like I walked to the front of the super long line where everyone was getting like the special little draw photo cards that you like you get to pick out of the, I don't know what to call it. They're like covered in those metallic, metallic plastic, whatever you call it. Um, so you can't see who you get. I got the same thing for the boys. It's like a Japanese thing. And then I was thinking to myself, oh my God, do I do this now? I kind of want those, those Tower Records, ATs, POBs. And I was thinking to myself, and the reason why I didn't is because I couldn't figure out the versions for ATs. They all look the same to me. And they don't have them on display in Japan. You have to go to the counter. And I didn't actually know how many versions ATs did. I was like, not too sure at the moment. So I ended up just not getting it. And I was like, oh, I'll get it in Korea. Anyway, so um, I never ended up getting the ATs album in Japan. Because it was, I'm sure, because it had just released. Like, literally, I think it, it was either that day or the day before or something because like everyone it was a huge line to get the pops for at so it was like either it must have been that day i was so out of it for k-pop in japan i was just kind of having the time of my life over there i thought to myself okay i'll just i'll just pick up at's as album in korea so um then i went to korea a couple days later and um i never ended up getting the at's album because i bought some other k-pop albums like taeyong and cix and I thought, I don't have any room, like no room. And I think there's like three plus versions for ATs. I cannot. So I ended up not getting the album because I thought to myself, I actually ordered from Makestar, which is right here, these ones right here. And that was another reason why I was like, okay, just don't get it in Korea. Uh, but I now wish, because I didn't realize how many other versions other than these, these three versions, how many there were. And there was only one other platform version, I'm pretty sure. So I regret not getting that in Korea because it's super small and easy to bring back. Um, yeah, so I regret not bringing that because I could have had that in the video. But it is what it is. <laughs> I might get it later and open it up in an Instagram reel or something. But we'll see. <laughs> this is good enough for me. I love this headband look on Weon. It looks so good. And the comic look in this is so cool. Or like the comic theme or manga theme really really cool also albums in korea are insanely cheap compared to buying them online it's crazy i even went to a shop that's like um you know like the underground shopping in myeongdong those are obviously like really cheap good albums and i didn't even go to a store like that because i i was in a rush at the time and there was a k-pop store literally right across my hotel so i just ran over there really quickly and bought some albums so um but even that store so cheap compared to um, buying online i bought like seven albums and it equaled out to like 150 cad like i looked on my credit card statement and i was like seven albums for that cheap normally for me it would be like 270 dollars so i was like i wish i bought more now if i had more room i totally would have but i feel like i went really slow on this one because i was kind of into the story i was telling so i'm sorry about that but okay that was that version we have the stickers and the tattoos and we have another one of these superstar cards 
and the CD. Okay, last photo card pulls. Let's see who we got. Who did we not pull? No, Jongo. I, I don't pull him that much these days. I don't pull Jongo that much. Let's see who we got in this. Ooh, we got a Hongjoong little postcard. I like that they did his little lip ring there. That's so awesome. These are so cool. Really, really cool. Hongjoong's postcard. Got the photo cards. Let's see who we got for the selfie one. Another, oh my gosh, is that a bread in his mouth? I can picture this card like being a popular one. <laughs> I feel like any time an idol is like has food in their mouth or some kind of like bread, it goes for expensive. So, ooh, ooh, I kind of lucked out with this one. It's so cute. All right, so we got bread, Hongjoon. All right, let's pull out this one. Who is this? Oh, it looks like Jongo. That kind of looks like his hair, but I'm not too sure, honestly. <laughs> but we, oh, my bad. We got that one and. We'll see if this is like a concept. Oh, it's different. We got a selfie sign photo card. Look at that. He looks so good. It's crazy. Dude, the sunglasses in his mouth. That's that's insane. <laughs> so this card has been different in all of them. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm pretty happy with my pulls overall. So that was my unboxing of AT's The World EP2 Outlaw. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.